Hey guys, welcome to Malplace. Today we're playing Drug Dealer Simulator and I'm here to show you the two different gangs you can join and how to choose the gang for you. So, let's play. Mal playing. Later on in the game as you reach level 20, dealer wise, and once you unlock downtown, you'll get a call from Eddie. Here he'll tell you that one of the two gangs are interested in you. Once you've answered the call, you can no longer choose which gang to join. So before you answer, you gotta do some prep work, okay? But before I let you know how to actually choose a gang, let's talk about a few different gangs first. This way, you'll know which one's better for you. So let's start with Kenji. Kenji seems to be a nice, badass Japanese Akuguda. So Kenji will be asking you to supply him with huge amounts of net. He'll pay you, of course, but it's not as much as the market price. But remember, in doing these quests and choosing a gang, the orders that they give will get larger and larger, so it pays off eventually. So, for Kenji, K I mean KG, once you've started trading with him, the drop off point is at the corner of Bad Asia, right over here. Once you've delivered the goods, you have to go to the nearest hideout, go to the computer, and let the gang know that you've completed the order. Once you do, They'll tell you to go back to the same point to get the money. You don't need to bring a bag though. They'll have it all in a suitcase ready for you. I really don't like this gang as the drop off point is quite far and inconvenient from everything else. So let's talk about the other gang, the gang of La Ballena. Once you're part of the gang, you'll have to deliver the coke to the drop off point that's south of East Old Town. After you drop off the stash, you go back to your computer let them know the order has been fulfilled. Then you go pick up the money just west of the drop point. It's kind of near La Bayana's mansion. I prefer this gang because the drop off point and the pickup point of the money is quite near. Very convenient. And there are nice hideouts near it. It's also quite near the transport guy who can bring you to the other sector. So it's very convenient. Also, one more thing is that the price of coke is much higher. So you can earn a little bit more. So now that we've discussed the different gangs, Let's talk about the different requirements you must meet before you answer Eddie's call. So, let's enter the character screen. On the left, you'll notice there's two bars. The first is General Risk Factor and Exposition Factor. The General Risk Factor is what decides which gang is interested in you. If you look at the text, you'll notice it mentions that it may also affect business offers you get. <laughs> That's the only clue you actually get. So if you do want to get La Ballena, you have to keep your risk factor low. It doesn't have to be super low, just lower than bring him on. Once your risk factor is so high that your status is now bring him on, it'll be Kenji that'll be interested in doing business with you. So player, what if I don't have the risk factor that I want and Eddie's already calling me? Does that mean I can't choose? Nope. Good news here is that even if Eddie is calling, as long as you don't answer it, nothing's final yet. So if you want to raise your risk factor, keep on getting caught. A simple way would be going through the borders, running, over and over. But if you want to lower it, just sell your items at night and keep a low profile in the morning. Once you have your desired risk factor, then you can answer Eddie's call. And that's all you need to know. Now you can choose the gang that you want. Hope this helps, player. If this helps in any way, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Do let me know what content you want next, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's play.